Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's look at putting parts of web pages on your dashboard. So using either a mission control or just by using a gesture, I'm going to use three finger swipe, you can go to the left of your main desktop and get to the area that's called your dashboard. And here's a place where you can put different dashboard widgets. You may have used this before. It's been around for a long time. You can add different widgets to it. Uh, you can just move around these widgets here. They're kind of just small little apps like this weather app here, the clock and the calendar and such. So you can actually create your own by taking a piece of a web page and using that as a widget. So here is a news website and they have a little area here that has stock information that I think would make a nice widget. So let me go to File and Open in Dashboard. And what this does then is it puts a little bar here at the top. I can select an area of the page and you can see it locks on to certain areas. Other times it just has a rectangle. Whichever one you select it's going to give you the ability to move these little handles at the corner and the top and the bottom to define the area. So I'm going to use this area here and I'm going to click Add. And you can see it's going to jump over to the dashboard and it's going to put this new clip here and it's going to load it. So now I have this dashboard widget here that shows this portion of the web page. So what's important to realize here with this widget is it will update in real time. So as this page changes, just as if you went to the web page at a different time, it would load in the most recent data. So uh, you basically have a little area where you can see the top news or stocks or sports scores. You can use this for all sorts of different things. Now you can see Dashboard is its own space over here to the right. I can actually make it work so it mingles in with everything else by going to System Preferences and under Mission Control that's where it says Show Dashboard as a Space. So I'm going to turn that off. Now I can find the Dashboard icon here in the dock and it will load up and you can see it's loaded up on my main space right here um, as an app. So kind of as an overlay with everything else. And I can bring it up by clicking on it very easily. There's also here a keyboard shortcut. So you can see uh, on my computer here it's set to F12. So I can easily press F12 to bring up Dashboard including any of these web clips that I've created. So web clippings can be very useful. Of course, keep in mind that it's going to load the entire web page and then show you that section of it. So if you throw a whole bunch of them onto your dashboard, it's going to slow down your dashboard quite a bit. And if the pages themselves update a lot with a lot of things going on in real time on that site, then it could get real slow. So try it out and see how well it works for you on your Mac with the site that you want to create a dashboard widget from. Hope you found this useful. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the Videos link at the top of the page, and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.